No. Okay, Doug, go ahead. Uh, this is an eastern hognose snake, uh, native to Ohio, and uh, they're they're called hognose snakes because of their little upturned snout, which they use for digging and rooting in the sand and uh, in loose soil. And they specialize in feeding on toads, which vary in the sand and the loose soil. And uh, at the rear of their jaws, they have elongated teeth that for many years they thought that the purpose of those teeth was to deflate a toad after they grab it. Because if, if you grab a toad and uh, uh, you'll know that they inflate themselves. And uh, there's some other evidence that indicates that that may not be the case. Uh, it's pretty unusual to be able to eat a toad because what happens is the toad secretes a, a milky substance from its back, from glands on its back, and that milky substance causes, it's called a bufotoxin, and it causes an animal's heartbeat to speed way up and then slow way down, causing heart arrest. And so uh, that's how toads protect themselves. And you may have heard about dogs grabbing toads and dying from them. Uh, but of course, then the question is, how does a hognose feed, feed on toads if that's the case? And what they've discovered is that hognoses and common garters, in, by the way, have enlarged adrenal glands. And so what happens is when they grab the toad and their heartbeat speeds way up, that's no big deal. In a sense, it kind of helps them grab, the, you know, overpower the, the toad. But then when the bufotoxin kicks in and starts the heart to slow down, the enlarged adrenal glands kick in and speed the snake's uh, uh, heartbeat back up again so the snake's able to eat the toad. So they're really, a, a really I mean, a, an absolute specialist in feeding on toads. Uh, they're probably most famous because they have this, this uh, uh, act of playing dead. And if, when, they, when you first approach hog noses, they tend to open their mouth and inflate their, or flatten their neck. Yeah. They look like a cobra. Uh, a lot of people will call them things like hissing vipers. And they'll actually make a little hissing sound. And so uh, they, they attempt to scare you away by doing that. And it can be very intimidating, you know, especially if you don't know what, what, what kind of snake you're dealing with here. But uh, uh, in any case, then, if that doesn't work, then they play dead. And they will flip over, or they'll at least at least put their to uh, turn their tail up over the top of their body, and then they defecate. They just crap all over themselves, and then they crawl back through it. So they try to make themselves as disgusting as possible. <laughs> and uh, if that doesn't work, then they'll they'll sometimes flip over on their belly. Their their tongue will hang out. Their mouth will stay open. Um, and they'll play dead. And if you pick them up and flip them over, then they flip back again. And so uh, they're, they're a pretty well-known snake for those types of behaviors.